Hey again, it's Double Arch Angel here. Welcome to my channel. It's a new week, and that means it's a new video. Anyway, I hope you don't mind. I've got a new chair for Christmas, and it turns really easy, so I'm not used to it yet. Anyway, but let's get to the point. This time, we will go on a journey to China, actually, to, I won't butcher its name, it starts with a Z and ends, yeah, yeah. yeah well, the name is down below in the description. So, New Year, right? Um. Like you've seen in the thumbnail, I made, this time I made a, a time lapse of a Chinese New Year. Xi Wong Long, the dragon of hope and well-being, is someone that you can't really see that often. But, but I have a feeling that we're quite close now. He may appear just behind us soon and then we will go after him to China and that's what we're gonna make in the time-lapse so guys I hope you enjoyed this one because it was a doozy I liked it uh, but I had real problems with it uh, I will explain more in the voiceover anyway Let's get started. I hope you enjoy. Let's begin. So, I started from a simple sketch and then I right away jumped into the actual dragon Xi Wong Long and don't bother googling him because well I basically made him up but uh, it's an old folklore uh, but I didn't find the name of the actual dragon so yeah anyway I'm using um, STL files from Freestock uh, of the dragon that I found on art station and um, these I then clipped into small bits and pieces and put together so see yeah, no, I, I'm not gonna but butcher the name. It's a beautiful place and it actually exists in China, in Wuhan. Uh, it's a natural resort. And um, I started to put together this place and I already knew I wanted in the composition, as like in the sketch, uh, someone in the foreground and then uh, subtle background and the, the famous pillars so that you actually can see that they are pillars but also a little village so it wouldn't be totally deserted So while we watch this beautiful landscape come together, uh, this is what I meant with uh, I had real problems. You will just uh, now see. Uh, I started to build up the dragon again because I just wasn't satisfied. Uh, 
uh, finally I decided to go the Benny production way. This young guy from the Netherlands has started to uh, be a trend using simple methods as making shapes and then clipping masks and warping stuff in this. Uh, I used several pictures of snakes and I have ophidiophobia and that's fear of snakes so yeah <laughs> this was not fun for me at all watching I don't know now I have about 50 snakes in my stock library and I rather not go back to them So I struggled with this piece some. Uh, there were two things that didn't go to my satisfaction. And the first one was I couldn't really decide what kind of background I wanted. If it should be in just a subtle small village or a bigger small city. Uh, so I went back and forth but decided that the small cozy village would make do. Uh, and the second thing that I realized was that um, the dragon was really hard to make to look uh, non-plastic. Uh, using a, a model that is printed in, in uh, PLA, that's plastic, um, it's a good way to get the actual shapes, but but it still keeps that plastic feel to it. And uh, well, you will see later on in this clip that I'm doing anything and everything to to try to get it better. I keep going back to this uh, technique that I have learned in uh, in ad business when I've been a graphics designer, and that's using a gradient with a color a color overlay uh, to get a feeling. If you want it to be a, a early morning feeling, it's orange. If it's uh, in the middle of the night, it's blue. You basically use uh, the sky that you have chosen and color pick from that and make it a subtle gradient and then uh, mask it out on places where you don't want it to overlap uh, any other effects. This is a really easy way to change the feeling from a stock picture to that one that you are seeking. So this year I decided I wouldn't do an avatar piece, even though avatar is coming out or was uh, uh, released their, their trailer. But I still wanted to give some, or I got some vibes of avatar when I made this Xiang Jie. I, I can't pronounce that name, sorry guys. Uh, this Wuhan National Park with its sandstone pillars it, it gave a little vibe of Avatar so I wanted to bring that also into this piece a little bit uh, 
and added some some simple and light fog in the background. You will see I, I will take away from this fog that I have added right now uh, so that it gives the illusion that the place is quite high up. I also lit the village, little cozy village. So, I tried to tackle this problem with my plastic dragon, making overlays of scales from fish and other rep and reptile creatures and so on to give, give him a more realistic look. It's just that, well, we don't have any dragons anywhere, so you can't really find any real pictures of a dragon, right? And Xi Wong Long, as I named him, uh, you shouldn't be able to see that easily. So, you'll see what I'm doing to make him blend in, per se. Uh, the new Photoshop has this perspective tool kind of uh, warping 
and uh, it's really good to to get the right propositions of the picture uh, but what isn't mentioned in any tutorials that I have watched at least or or any videos for that matter is that the picture starts to warp and it gets these bends and you have to use or you don't have to but it's, it's good to take the original picture and start patching up the old one uh, with this place so so that you get get it back being a whole picture and not a clipping mask here I add also more of the scales again trying to get this realistic feel very hard to get plastic looking like well not plastic So, by adding this cosmic feel with some galaxy overlays in, in Xi Wang Long, uh, I get him to blend into the night sky as I wanted. And, uh, well, keeping the style vibrant because that is my style. So as I make him a uh, dragon that is, because <laughs> that's what I'm struggling the most in this picture, uh, I, I realized that he's quite translucent and uh, I tackled this problem by copying him again uh, and put the layer above and, and mask it out and then, then just uh, bring forth a little his shape through the through through the new layer Ending this with adding the, the New Year's fireworks and give it the New Year's feel and uh, well bring vibrancy into the picture even more. Uh, I want to wish everyone a Happy New Year's Eve because that's when this video comes out and uh, hopefully 2023 is gonna be an awesome year for you guys. I thank you all for the ones that uh, started following me and also Instagram hitting 300 was my goal for this year, so for last year. This is also super and I hope we, we can keep on doing this journey and uh, See, there's lots and lots of plans for 23. Anyway, I'm Double Archangel. Don't forget to like and subscribe, hit the noti notification bell, and uh, share the videos with your friends. And Happy New Year!